My name is Una Tempest and I'm the head chef of Sushi Bai Bay, which is the sister restaurant to Sushi Bai Boo in the Julong Club on West 20th Street. My background is actually in the arts and then while I was studying art, I started waitressing at Tenoshi Sushi with um, Toshio Ogama on the Upper East Side and Ogama-san became my sensei, he became my teacher. Um, so it sort of happened by chance, but I just really fell in love with sushi both as a food and sort of as an art form um, and that's where it started. Last year, we had an opportunity to do this project at last, um, and it just has sort of snowballed from there. The Julon Club is a restaurant um, that takes that has downstairs and then two private party rooms upstairs. So at Sushi by Boo and Sushi by Bay, we are the speakeasy um, behind the black curtain on the second floor. So there is no, you know, direct link between the two of us. We just have this little room and you have to come and find us. We serve omakase sushi, so the guests will all sit down and be served sushi one piece at a time. It's all chef's choice, so we decide what's best for the day um, and then that is what our customers get. My omakase is 15 courses, so you'll be having 15 bites, seasonal fish and shellfish imported from Japan. There are certain staples that I like my menu to have, so I try to start with lighter flavors like white meat fish, then you know fades into tuna like we have lean tuna, medium fatty tuna, fatty tuna, which is everyone's favorite. And then that goes into some other varieties of fattier fish as well as silver fish. And then we'll end with something nice like sea urchin um, and a hand roll. I would say, you know, come and try omakase and talk with your chef. Like, hey, I'm new to sushi. I kind of don't, you know, want some of the weirder stuff. Like, that's fine and we'll accommodate you. Or, you know, we'll let, give you like little bites of maybe you've never had sea urchin before and I'll just give you a little bit to taste first. In the 80s, when the first sushi boom kind of happened in New York, it was more like rolls, California roll, dragon roll, et cetera, et cetera. And then as more people became more accustomed to eating raw fish, the chefs that had come over from Japan, you know, would do more traditional things. And then people reacted well to it. So it just built up like, oh, this is great. You know, I want to try these things. And now we're just at a point where traditional sushi is well loved by many people. And I think it's really great.